now with the, your last game in the World Cup, uh, yeah. the important thing is uh, you got to keep in mind uh, a place uh, at the Champions Trophy is at stake uh, for Sri Lanka. In that sense, uh, how crucial uh, is tomorrow's game? Yeah, it's it's a it's a crucial game, and uh, you know the the scenarios uh, say that we need to win it, and uh, you know there are a few more games played plays after our one as well. So so. Our uh, preparation was as usual. We came for training today, and and, and I think everyone's uh, very positive and you know trying to keep the heads up and you know go and play the best game tomorrow. Uh, Navid, um, Sri Lanka's batting has been a concern, and do you think that it's the starts that you're not got from the openers that has been the main cause of it? Uh, well. Uh, there was one birth in the opening, uh, which was always con concerning for us uh, over a period of time. And uh, we've uh, sort of tried to fill in those gaps. We bought in Dimut uh, for the qualifiers and Kusal Janit Perra for the World Cups, uh, which uh, didn't go our way. And, uh, and also in the middle order as well, there are a couple of spots in the middle order, uh, which was concerning for a, for some time now it's it's not something that has happened uh, during this tournament but it has been there uh, apart from that we've seen uh, uh, about four of our batsmen has done really well charit uh, sadira uh, of course uh, petum nisanga and uh, kusal has done reasonably well in this tournament so it's the consistency and the overall overall game, I think. I think uh, when you look at it, the bigger picture, I think uh, in all three departments, we made mistakes in most of the games. Like you know, our fielding was not up to the mark, and and whenever we batted, we didn't bowl well. So so uh, it was an over, overall uh, affair. I think we should have done better. Navid, then Krida Kalatina, Taranga Tin, Taranga Hayakma, Sri Lanka Kanda, Parajula, Tina Laka, Uba Punukaru Lesseter, Assistant Punukaru Lesseter, Munavagi Deval, Ashton, the Sarata, Ekanemi, Idri, Aurdu Hatarata, Munavagi Deval, the improved Karaganoni Kilaba Dakin. Among Hitane, Ape Pitikarne, Petting, Api identify Kalatino, Deval. Idiriyate ano kota api hada agni ano mukod api me taranga avliye dekka api pitikaru an thundin ek satakala baagatta api modern day cricket tech ano kota lakhon thunsi agata ikma ano gana kapi pitikaru ne te ta labagan tieno anang me deng modern day cricket tech kapi pitikaru an pas dene keng tang badi monot pitikaru an hai dene keng krida karana porudu ano me no the pitikaru an hai dene keng krida karana kota Apita Hema Tarangema Pitikarwan Din Nekari Tund Nekari Itamat Hundin Kridakaran, you know, Tie Hatali Gahala uh Vikat Kadlu Visikarotema, Apita Siddha, you know, Ape Yata Pitikarwanta Pandu or a Pahalak Visak Muna Din. I think a uh Watarna Tikak Amaru Hemakaran. Uh Eva game Pandu me disciplines api hada ganna wenawa faces tunema alut bole power play ke middle face ke death ke tunema ape pandu ay me discipline eka mita wedi hondin api hada ganna wenawa e wageema pandu rakima gattot api eken ut sahena palle ahiti me me taranga waliya tula api man hitanne uda pandu 16ak wage atharala tiyena i think especially මේ වගේ ක්‍රීඩාංගන වල මේ වගේ තනතින යෝ ක්‍රීඩා කරද්දී හොඳ පිටිකරුවෙක්ගේ උඩපන්දුවක් ගිලි ගියොත් ඒක මං හිතන රිකවර් කරන්න ගොඩක් අමාරුයි මොකද දෙපාරක් හම්බුවෙන්නේ නැහැ. ඉතින් ඕවර්ඕල් ගත්තොත් මං හිතන්නේ ඒ අංශ තුනෙන්ම අපේ බාස් ලිෆ්ට් කරගන්න වෙනවා. අපේ ක්‍රීඩකයෝ ගත්තොත් අපි දකිනවා අපිට ඉන්න ක්‍රීඩකයෝ පළපුරුද්දතින් මැච් Sana Pramanak then Gaginino, Egolo, I think Idria Urdu Hatara, Ilangalo, Kuslanata Kali Manghitano, me metanin Godakri Dakio Itamat Palapurud Palapurudamat at Petting 
හොඳ තැනකට එයි කියලා ඒ වගේම අපි ෆෝකස් වෙච්ච ප්‍රෝග්‍රෑම් එකක් හදාගෙන මේගොල්ලෝ ඉදිරියට ගෙන යන්න බලාපොරොත්තු වෙනවා David now uh, back home uh, it has been a bit chaotic couple of days uh, with the Sri Lanka cricket board and everything that's happening back home today also it has been a hot topic in the parliament uh, how how does it affect uh, as a coaching staff uh, for you guys and does it affect the players in any way well uh, well i think i think it's a challenging time of course uh, but uh, we should control the controllables right now the only control that we have uh, in this tournament is the game tomorrow so uh, during the team meetings and whatever discussions we had amongst the the coaching group as well as the players was was to to uh, sort of focus on that we cannot focus on the matches that we have played and and finished or we cannot uh, focus on anything which is happening back home so i guess uh, the way to go forward is to uh, put our energies put our focus on the the game tomorrow and try and do the best to our ability uh, navid you have the tournament's leading wicket taker and then the next highest wicket taker for you is somebody who's got eight wickets how much of a disappointment is it that motashanka has not had wicket taking support of the other sorry i couldn't follow the last bit of your question how much of a disappointment is it that motashanka has not had wicket taking support at the other end i said well uh, it's it's disappointing like i said before like uh, we had issues in our bowling department and uh, due to injuries mainly um, we had uh, dushmanta chamira coming in late because of his rehabilitation program uh, which he was not ready when the, by the time you know we were taking off uh, for the world cup and as well as uh, lahiru madushanka his rehabilitation was also online and he was only uh ready after playing the two training games so and also of course uh, one indu uh i think uh, i think these three factors affect us are bowling very much and uh, yeah we would have probably liked to uh, have somebody to support and back dilshan up uh, with a brilliant tournament he had so far so uh, yeah it's a it's a disappointment i should say now uh <coughs> we've seen in this tournament that other teams have had very good finishers and 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 people who raised the the run rate at the the end of an innings but sri lanka hasn't had that for quite some time they haven't had consistent players in you know fulfilling that role can you talk a little bit about why sri lanka is not producing good finishers uh you know at that that uh on par with the rest of the world and what might be something that sri lanka can do in order to to produce players like that uh i think uh starting uh we had to qualify coming into this world cup we were not in the top 8 teams so uh so at the uh, inception uh, our main focus was to you know win the qualification tournament and and qualify and then uh, after the after the qualification tournament uh, uh for the last 10 months we played about uh, about 9 odis in this this year Uh, in a in a competitive level and uh, i think uh, it was a concern uh, coming through as well that that we had gaps in skills to fill and uh, and it's a it's a it's a it's a massive subject to talk i mean uh, it it boils down to uh, so many factors uh, of our cricket back home so so i think there is a plan in place uh, for the last couple of years and it's it's a it's a long term plan uh for last 4 years 4 year plan which is just been put in place to uh, strengthen our domestic cricket as well as uh, uh the the skills of uh, the national cricketers uh, i think we need to be patient go through that uh, and uh, you know stick to the players because uh, uh, the group of players are not going to change other than the players who are coming through from the grassroots so uh, we need to see how uh, we can uplift and upskill our players and and quickly you know get them in par with international standards navid me karane sambandhin kallu thuba katha kala then champions trophy ekata sudusukam labannata apita me tarange ithama thiraatmakai kohomada hita pawachana tarange wenuwen me abiyugata muna denne ah oh මේක මේ තරගයේ ඉතාමත් වැදගත් තරගයක් අපිට මේ චැම්පියන්ස් ට්‍රෝෆි එකට කොලිෆයි වෙන්න පළවෙනි අට ඇතුලේ ඉන්න. 
ඉතින් අපි playing group එකත් එක්ක උදේ කතා කරා. ඉතින් කතා කරන උඩ ගොඩක් focus එක තිබ්බේ අපිට පහුගිය දේවල් වල focus එක තියාගත්තා කියලා අපිට ඒක control කරන්න බෑ. ඉතින් මේ tournament එක අපිට එක තරගයේ ඉතුරු වෙලා තියෙන්නේ. අපේ focus එක ඒ තරගේ තියාගෙන ඒ වගේම මේ තරගාවලිය තුලදී අපේ learnings මොනවාද අපිට ඉගෙන ගන්න තිබ්බ දේවල් මොනවාද මේ තනතිලි ගැන ඒ වෙලා ඒ වගේම opposition teams වලින් අපිට ගන්න තියෙන දේවල් ටික අරගෙන අපි ඒක තමන් තම තමන්ගේ games වලට add කරලා අපි කොහොමද අපේ game එක improve කරගන්නේ මෙතන අපි කොල්ල ලංකාවට ගිහිල්ලා ඒ දේ කරන්න නෙමෙයි අපිට දැන් ඉඳන් ඒ ඒ ඒ process එක පටන් ගන්න මොකද අපි already tournament එකෙන් out ඉතින් ප්ලේයර්ස් ලා ඔලුවට දාගත්තොත් එහෙම අපි ඉගෙන ගත්ත දේවල් අනිත් ප්ලේයර්ස් ලාගෙන් අනිත් ටීම්ස් වලින් ඒ වගේම අපිට වැරදිච්ච දේවල් හොඳ හොඳට කරලා අපි අපිට ඒ දිගටම කරගන්නේ බැරි වෙච්ච දේවල් ඒ දේවල් මං හිතනවා අපි ඊටමත් ඉක්මනින් ඒ කියන්නේ පුළුවන් නම් හෙට තරගයේ වෙද්දිම අපි ඒ දේවල් හරි පැත්තට යොමු කරලා ඒ ඉගෙන ඉගෙන ගත්ත දේවල් වලින් ඒ දේවල් හරි ගස්ස ගත්තොත් මං හිතනවා අපිට කරන්න පුළුවන් මොකද අපේ ටැලන්ට් එකේ අඩුවක් නැහැ ටැලන්ට් එකේ ක්‍රීඩකයෝ ඉන්නවා අපිට ටැලන්ට් ක්‍රීඩකයෝ ඉන්නවා අද්දැකීම වගේම ඒගොල්ලෝන්ගේ මානසික ශක්තිය තමයි අපි හදා ගන්න ඕනේ you spoken about the four year plan and uh, this was a team that was largely developed under Dasun Chanaka's captaincy how much of a difference does it make that midway through uh, that he goes out and kusal mendes sort of comes in how different is he kusal mendes as compared to uh, say uh, dasun chanaka in his style of leadership and has there been a difference with the change of captaincy midway through? uh well uh, dasun has proved to be be a good leader he has done well as a captain uh, for sri lanka and uh, when we were coming into the tournament uh, he was perfectly all right and it's unfortunate that we lost uh, the main captain appointed captain of the tournament but uh, it's also uh, uh, it's also unfair i think to make a judgment on kusal mendes as captaincy uh, in in a couple of games and also it, it would have been a massive burden on kusal to uh, to take over the captaincy uh, during a world cup and uh, obviously uh, uh the uh, the nitigrities of uh, of decision making which he was not involved in uh, probably would have uh, affected him as well as a captain so so i guess uh, uh, both are good captains both have played uh, you know really good cricket uh, for some time now but uh, i guess it's a bit unfair to judge uh, kusal on captaincy in uh, such to a short uh, you know period Navid, uh, tomorrow's game uh, you i mean can you just talk us through i mean what sort of uh, the composition going to be like not that we want 11 but i mean how we all are looking at uh, taking on new zealand and being the last game and like the must win game like so what sort of composition are you think looking at uh uh when you say composition are you saying the the playing composition or yeah we have we have always played uh, six batters uh, all round and four bowlers like for last couple of uh, months since since we lost uh, dasun shanaka who was batting for us, us at number 7 uh, we we opted to play with uh, four main bowlers and uh, dananjay batting at 7 as the as the all rounder um i think in these wickets uh, that's the that's the least uh, combination you can do you need to play your, your four bowlers and uh, your all rounder who should be able to bowl at least uh, seven eight overs and there should be somebody else who uh, as a cover up uh, bowler in your playing level so uh, i think we might not be able to get away from that because uh, the grounds are smaller the wickets are uh, flatter so uh, so we need bowlers uh, who can you know execute the skills um navid now i mean this started kusal mendi started off the world cup in a blistering fashion a couple of uh, really good innings but uh, after he was given the captaincy you can see 
uh, sort of a decline in his performances. Did he come to you with any concerns whether there was a burden on his shoulders with captaincy or is it, was it just uh, good bowling? Uh, what do you think happened with that? I think it's about the mental clarity. We, we've had many discussions and uh, and he's been given the freedom to go about uh, in his uh, preferred fashion. I mean, I mean, we've discussed before the tournament and agreed that all players are going to play with a positive positive tempo. And uh, that's how you should be playing and that's how uh, we have succeeded as well. And there's no different to Kusal uh, Mendes' approach. We've told him that he's only captaining uh, on the field uh, when we are bowling. That when he goes into the middle, uh, not to carry that burden as a captain, that he'll be a batter in the middle. And we've tried to clear his mind as much as possible, not uh, sort of trying to put a burden of captaincy on him. Uh, I'm sure, I'm sure uh, it would have been an extra burden on, on him uh, Captain taking over the captaincy in the middle of the of an important tournament such as a World Cup. Um, I think mainly uh, when it comes to batters, I think it's about the mental clarity because because they might play a rash shot and get out, and uh, you know it's uh, it's very difficult to say you know whether he should have played the shot or should have not played the shot because the main thing that we don't want to do is you know push them into a shell. And, and sort of hamper their confidence. So, in the in the modern day cricket, uh, they should be able to, you know, to to play their shots and also express uh, how they want to play their cricket. And uh, the more they play in that fashion, I think uh, they'll go towards mental clarity. And once they have achieved uh, clarity, how they want to go about and what works for them, I think. Uh, that's the only way way forward. And having spoken to many uh, international cricketers and and having discussed uh, with many teams about uh, this, I think the more more clarity they have mentally about uh, how they want to play their cricket and how uh, how uh, they want to go go about uh, in positivity, I think it's easier and it's easier for for the players to figure out uh, you know how and what is their their game. And uh, I think any doubts coming forward, which will uh, hamper and which will affect their decision-making process, which is uh, very critical in betting because they've got a very short period, short time to uh, to make decisions. So the more clarity you have on that, uh, you'll make better choices in the middle.